If you are watching this video, then you have survived a title that is stacked to the gills with nerd triggering phrases. Welcome to RPG Imaginings. If you're here, it means that you can tolerate things that you have very strong opinions on. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I intended to unbox this Amazon package, and when I got it, I noticed that it had signage for Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, and so I thought we'd maybe start off by talking about that, because I have watched the first three episodes of the Rings of Power, and of course there won't be any spoilers here. I figure if you're the sort of person who, uh, you know whose eyes don't immediately pop out of their socket when someone mentions the rings of power, then this should be a comfortable space for you. And you should be, you know, willing to like all of us, well-adjusted adults, be able to talk about media that you get without, uh, uh, paying for your coffin or something. <laughs> I've really enjoyed the rings of power so far. Um, Examples of things that I like, spoiler free. I really like the characters and the motivations of individual characters. I like that they've presented a very diverse Middle Earth because there isn't any reason why Middle Earth wouldn't be diverse, just like the real world is diverse. Um, and the visuals are stunning absolutely stunning. They've done a really good job of mixing sets and actual fabricated pieces and um, digital effects and use those judiciously so that it, so that, you know, it's a good balance, I would say, between fabrication, physical effects, practical effects, and uh, digital effects. Uh, music is great. Um, and yeah, so, uh, I've really enjoyed watching it. I mean, things that I don't like about it, um, like a lot of streamed TV series, uh, we do, shall we say, linger a bit too long on certain parts. Um, in general, I'm for more of a rapid storytelling than a drawn out storytelling. And a lot of these streaming TV shows, uh, it seems like they're given that they don't have a time budget that they have to stick by, you know, there would maybe be things that would be on the cutting room floor that just aren't, um, it certainly doesn't harm my overall enjoyment of it. <clears throat> um, from a Canon perspective, um, I don't care that a TV series does not perfectly follow canon. The movies did not perfectly follow canon. Um, and so uh, from a storytelling perspective, I'm most interested in people playing in a world. And I feel like the world is pretty darn authentic. There are homages to a lot of uh, references in the Silmarillion. Uh, for example, without getting too spoilery, that I've enjoyed. And so, you know, your mileage will vary. And if you can't enjoy it, um, many of us would really just appreciate it if you would shut up about it. Okay? Um, because honestly, we don't care if you don't like it. Okay? Adult human beings who watch TV series... They either like it or they don't, and we don't base our interpretations of things over whether you like it or not. Okay, so I'm sorry if the Rings of Power have destroyed your world. Good gosh, get a hobby or something. <laughs> um, and so I, I hope it continues, um, but I would definitely say that the doom-mongering that uh, has existed out there um, is unfounded so far. So... That being said, let's get to the other part of this video, this other shocking reference in the title of this video, which that shocking reference, where is my unboxing knife for crying out loud? Well, we'll just go scissors, I guess. The second sh shocking part of the title is Vox Machina. Ooh! 
Vox Machina! Someone doing a popular D&D thing that you don't like! Ooh, it's spooky season! <clears throat> you can probably guess what I have to say about people whining about Vox Machina and Critical Role. It's just sad, honestly. Okay. And to make sure we don't have any packing slips or anything, and we have Keyleth. Nice. Seven inch Keyleth figure. Um, I don't collect a lot of figures. Um, most of the figures that I collect are Star Wars figures or... Uh, legacy movie figures, I guess, is the way that I'll describe it. Uh, so, for example, I have, you know, a lot of the figures that they're selling at, at Target over the last couple of years. I have multiple The Thing figures, um, two different McCready's. I have uh, Doc Brown um, with interchangeable uh, heads. I have an alien. Um, and then, you know, a ton of Star Wars figures. Um I got Keyleth here for a couple of reasons. This is the uh, McFarlane Toys 7-inch uh, uh, version of Keyleth from The Legend of Vox Machina Season 1. This is obviously the series that you can watch on Amazon Prime. I recommend it. Um, you know, you can call it The Legend of Vox Machina, or you can call it D&D &D, The TV Show 2022. It would be the same. <laughs> Okay. Um, and so, yeah, I like Keyleth for a couple of reasons. And this figure, I think, was just released. <clears throat> There's the crew. Um, and I like Keyleth because she's a druid. And in the rare occasion when I, when I main a druid or when I, when I, uh, yeah. In, <laughs> okay. Let me start over. On the rare occasion that I play d and I main druids, okay? That is my class. It's the class that I preferred. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rip this sucker open. No, I don't keep toys in the box. I'm going to take this figure out and I'm going to display it. Oh, oh, check it out. Watch me rip the box. Oh, the torture for some of you. What are you going to do about it? I know I'm a little sassy tonight, but I'm just so over... The pointless nerd anger <laughs> that exists out there that I'm going to be a little sassy. And, you know, because, folks, let's not be ridiculous, okay? Like, uh, Critical Role hasn't ruined your life. If anything, it's made every gamer's life better. And I know that that hurts your fragile ego to hear that from someone. Oh. But the reality of it is that by having a popular actual play with voice actors, it has improved the popularity of the hobby. I'm trying to get the stand out. I'm really struggling with it. <clears throat> I got an idea. Ugh, yes. Just destroy the box. There'll be no saving this for value later. Huh. Huh. No, I don't want to scratch the base, to be fair. Gosh, what? How is this? Okay, we're going in with the finer scissors here. Seeing if we can... Well, they really got that in there. Okay. Uh, this is probably going to be the video where I cut myself, so that'll be fun. Um, and by fun, I'm going to try really hard not to do that. <sighs> okay. What is it? Is it glued to the backing? What, what is going on here? Anyway, so, you know, Critical Role has improved the visibility of the hobby and gotten a lot of people interested in role-playing and destroyed the fragile little hearts of adult nerds who don't want anybody to become involved in things that they like and view as their own personal hobby instead of hobbies for other people. 
Ooh, that's some commentary for you right there. Ooh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Um, and so, uh, yeah. And uh, it's gone so far as to there having been a, a TV series, which, you know, it's it's done in a somewhat anime-like style. So maybe that uh, gets another part, hits another segment of the nerd hobby, I guess. Maybe I should call this how not to unbox something because <laughs> this, this is the worst I've ever done in an unboxing. Okay, there's the base, finally. Gosh. Ugh. Is there anything else in the box? No, we're good. All right. I'm going to trash that box. Um, why do I like Keyleth specifically? Um... Keyleth's character arc, there will be spoilers about Vox Machina here. Um, slight spoilers. So, Keyleth as a druid is, uh, her character is kind of the um, introverted, uh, I don't believe in my own power, so I'm struggling to help, you know, under various circumstances, kind of media or literary trope, which I enjoy that trope. Uh, not so much because I, I personally relate to it, but as an educator, I really like this idea of people finding their inner strength, you know? Um, there's 22 points of motion on, on Keyleth here. And let's see if we can get her to stand on the base for crying out loud. Maybe. We'll get there. I'm so bad with basing figures. That's part of the reason why I don't purchase these uh now fyi i do have like figure stands that i use um so or maybe it should be like this maybe my problem is is that i've chosen the wrong foot let's see if this works better okay that works better that works better sort of kind of <clears throat> So, you know, she does a lot of cool druid things. I don't, I don't think she does a lot of wild shaping. She isn't like a wild shaped druid, you know? Um, but she is an air druid, I guess. She does a lot of air magic and the... She's voiced by Marisha Ray. And I think Marisha had intended her to have sort of like a... Um, uh, what's it called? The Last Airbender vibe. So there she is on the base. You know, she's adorable. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I decided to pick up this Keyleth figure because I, I really like druids. I enjoyed Keyleth's character in the TV series. Uh, this just hit the shelves and I'm about to run out of adult money. Um, in that I, uh, just, um, that's kind of cool. That's kind of a cool pose. Um, I just switched jobs and I love my new job, by the way. Um, but I'm not making as much money at it. So my adult money is about to run out and I wanted to do one last little hurrah of a figure that I liked. And she's pretty inexpensive. I, I mean, I think she runs like 22 or something. Um, yeah. And so there we go. Um, one of the figures from Vox Machina. Um, oh, that's better. There we go. That's much better. Having her bend the knee is what needs to happen there. She's got to bend the knee and then she fits really well on the base. Okay. We got there. Um, so thank you for joining me for me awkwardly fumbling around with things for a little while. I hope that was exciting for you. I hope that the simultaneous mention of the Rings of Power and Critical Role in one video has not ruined your evening. Um, and uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay, so um, I will be having tons more RPG content coming up, by the way. Um, 
I have prepared myself to not be able to buy a lot of RPG supp supplement, supp supplements moving forward um, by making sure that uh, over the last year or so, you know, I, I knew, well, last six months or so, I knew that there was going to be a big change coming. So I have been attempting to collect a lot of classic supplements, either PO, POD or originals. It doesn't really matter to me because the words are what matter to me. Um, so I have lots of stuff that can be shown on the channel moving forward. And I'm really excited to show a wide swath of RPG materials to y'all. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll have more content coming at you soon. Have a great night.